Hi. Yes, I'm back. I'm back. I've been doing shorts lately. Lots of shorts. Yes. But chatty get ready with me. Being chatty with y'all is where my rotten little heart really is. So, I have the Persona Identity 2 palette right here that I picked up by way of Beauty God Goddess Bridget because she was selling off some of her overstock from all of her boxes. And I've got Benefit Georgia Peach Blush right here. If you want to see how I did all this stuff, just give it a minute. We'll get there. See ya. Okay. Persona Identity 2. There's what we're looking at. Right there. Kind of nifty, huh? I got this by way of Beauty Goddy, Goddess Bridget, who was selling off some of her overabundance from boxes and such. So, yeah, this is a pretty nifty thing. Currently got Ace Butte's. Um, beige base on and I'm just getting ready to go to the out for a doctor's appointment but I'm feeling a bit more like me so we'll see what I can do with this Let's see. Since I've already got beige, I'm going to start with a slightly darker tan. And start off kind of boring just because I can now the color name in this one is loyal and it's kind of pretty even for a beige you know it's it's definitely kind of a beigey brown And we all know that I have to go up a little bit because if I don't, when I open my eyes, nobody sees anything because of all this foldy stuff I have from having hooded eyes. Yep, hooded eyes. They weren't quite as droopy when I was a little younger. Yeah, well, it happens. Hooded eyes can be droopy from the get-go and always droopy. They can be sort of droopy because of the fold and then they get droopier. And then there's the ones where you have a legitimate health reason to get a eye lift. And that's because 
the hooded part can droop low enough to occlude vision. I'm hoping I don't go there. I don't like surgery. It's not fun. Well, I don't mind it so much when it's it's something that can be that's small that can be done under local. It's not as bad to think about going under general now that I've got my CPAP and we figured out that the apnea is the problem that I had before with anesthesia. Because, yeah, I have had some problem with anesthesia. That's anesthesia, not Anastasia. La 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 la. Yeah, not too bad. Yes, I'm just going to kind of drag this the rest of the way up. Don't really need any other color to drag it up with since I'm like I've got base to the eyebrows so it's like just beige beige okay let's see now I've got a chocolate brown called Brave. I've got a solid black called Limitless. The last matte is called Passionate and it's kind of a pale terracotta pink. And then we start getting into the glitters. Yeah, there's one cream in here called Kind, which is about the same color as the shadow base. So we've got a green called Driven, purple called Confidence, a pinkety purple called Empowered, a grade blue called Independent gold called unique and a shimmery brown called resilient I'd ask you what you think but you can't tell me currently I think I'm going to start with the shimmery brown and start working in. Yeah, that's semi-interesting. Let's see how this keeps going. Yeah, I know, my lighting's wonky. I've got... on the sunlight setting on the little mirror that's right below the camera. I've got my bounce box over the camera. I've got my computer over there directly ahead of me, in front of me, 
across the room, I've got sunlight pouring through the bedroom window. Because it's early in the morning for me. It's only just about 9 a.m. For those of you who understand it, 0858. Which is at least better than O Dark 30. Yeah. O Dark 30 is too early for anybody to be up. Unless you started out up and you're getting ready to go to bed. Of course, ODAR 30 is any time you don't want to be up anyway. <laughs> then again, in one of the silly books that I read, somebody called that our ass o'clock. I snickered about that for a good half hour. I must have been really tired. <laughs> I like the idea, though, that there is such a thing as ass o'clock. Just because it sounds fun. Okay, now let's see where I'm going to put in the rest of it. What do you think? Pink and gold, purple and gold, blue and gold, green and gold. More brown? Nah. I've done as much brown as my colorful little soul can stand right now. It may have to be that pink. Because you see, Miss Beauty Goddess Bridget, when I picked these up from her, for where, from where she was selling off some, an abundance of, of box drops, She included this lovely pair of earrings and you probably will not be able to see it but there's little pink stones in the mandala. They're tiny, tiny, tiny and like I said you probably can't see them. That's okay. They're there. I know they're there, and I think I'm going to wear, use the pink, called Empowered. It's one of my favorite words. There was a friend of mine that was doing an exercise with me in a support group, and... She wrote empowered on a little slip of paper and we were all supposed to trade these little slips of paper around so that you know we could encourage each other and everything. So I ended up with that one and this has been a few years back now that we did this exercise and I still have that slip of paper. I keep it in my wallet under my driver's license.
Well, that's very pretty. That's very pretty. That's a really pretty shade. This has got a little bit of shimmer to it. The only one that's got a lot of shimmer to it appears to be the gold. The ones that are the deeper colors seem to be at about this level for all of them. And I'm good with it. It doesn't have to be brighty, bright, bright, bright. That looks pretty good. Sometimes I do these chatting about this stuff. Sometimes I chat about other stuff. I figured I'd just chat about the makeup this time because I'm having fun with it. You know, the stuff that I got was not that big a deal. I mean, I got the, the eye base and this palette, I believe the other piece was an eyeliner, I think. I'm trying to remember. I think what that was the other one. Anyway, there we go. For those of you who give a rat's rare, rear end. Yes, my foot is getting better. I'm now out of bandages. I was able to take my first shower without a bag on my foot since the surgery. For which I was grateful. It is a pain to have to have somebody in the room to watch you to make sure you don't fall down. Not because you're necessarily a regular fall risk, but because you got a plastic bag on your bloody foot. So it's not because you've gotten quite so feeble that you can't stand up by yourself. It's because you've got an artificial impairment. You've got a plastic bag on your silly foot, which makes your, even with a bath mat, you have a little trouble trying to keep from slipping with that plastic bag. Yes, I know. I haven't put the rest of the face on. But I seem to like to put this bottom part on before, even though part of the time I end up taking a chunk of it off when I go and put foundation on. All right, I'm weird. I thought we already knew that. I thought we knew each other. Anyway, 
I'm in the last week of my fourth class from the end of my degree program. Fourth class from the end. Yeah, I'm getting a little... Because... It's been a long time. Doing this online takes a little longer than most people might expect and I've been doing classes a long time doing this online and I'm not used to the idea of not doing classes it's just it's strange to think about not doing classes on the 28th I start my last I start my series of the last three so the 28th is the first day of the third in that series each class takes about eight weeks this is the cover girl clean and fresh milk skin milk skin milk it's a little runny I say little runny and I really just do mean runny. Got all the other stuff already on my mug. No, I'm not putting Consquealer on first. Yes, I'm one of those people who puts Consquealer on first. Because I'm going, I already know where my problem issues are, like these dark places under my eyes where I've got those stupid veins that stick out because they're dark. So that's usually where I put the consquealer. Yes, I've been listening to Nady too much again. And I've got red patches on my cheeks that break out. And occasionally I get a little thing here and I get some red on my nose. So that's usually where I put concealer if I'm going to be bothered. And sometimes I will use the concealer to kind of sharpen the line on the eye makeup if I'm feeling it. Now I'm trying to work through a bunch of my foundations. I've gotten them down significantly to very few. One of my favorites is this CoverGirl Skin Milk because it doesn't weigh anything at all. It just doesn't. And it doesn't take but a little bit and it doesn't feel like it's a lot. So, which is a wonderful thought. And the one I've got is 510 porcelain. 
just about any of the makeup, the foundations, I'm going to be in the porcelain range because uncooked chicken. Kind of scrunch this up a little bit. Do that messy thing. The back of the hair is real messy. See, it's just <laughs> part of that's because of the CPAP. I've got CPAP headband hair. Okay. I'm going to put the gold on. The gold is the one is the shade called unique in this palette. Let's see if it's all that unique. Uh, it just looks like gold to me, children. I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to rearrange my day, my schedules, my weeks, my months after I'm finished with class. It's like, okay, fine. I'm going to be doing more writing because I'll have time. But it's... It, writing is not exactly a concrete schedule. This has been a concrete schedule in my life for several years. I was doing this because of my health and my inability to guarantee that I can keep up with anything more than half time as I was going. I have been a part time student the whole time. So, well, I did try to add more and bulk up my schedule a bit close to the beginning and I discovered that that was not going to work because I get called into doing things like chasing my grandkids around way too much and you know doing errands and stuff well I did until the car died Now, I use the little hometown taxi to get back and forth to the doctors. Our little taxi in town is lovely people. If you're going to a doctor's appointment, they don't charge you. And that's even if you're going to a doctor's appointment two hours away at the Boise hospitals. If it's a doctor's appointment, they don't charge you. It's just, it's amazing. It's a little bit expensive if you're just doing, you know, around town, running around for shopping and stuff, but hey. Nice people, local people. They come in, they haul your carcass around. You usually don't have to worry too much about getting picked up to go wherever and get back and not have to worry about it too much. No, there's no real cab service like, you know, standing out on the street and waving. 
we've kind of got a bus for that. There's a little bus line that runs through town. It's only got like two variations on the same route. And it's inexpensive. And if you're not actually near a official bus stop, but you're somebody like us who've got some mobility issues, you can just flag them down from the side of the road along the route. Round trip is two bucks. So, you know, if we actually knew the route better, we could use that to get around a lot more. And they, they go past the grocery stores, most of them. You have to ask them pretty please if they'll drop you over at the outlet store, because they don't normally go all the way out there. If they know there's a client out there, they'll send a pickup bus back through. No, they're not useful at all. They're not helpful at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that's looking okay. No, I don't need to powder this down. That's the other thing I like about this foundation. It's closer to a tinted moisturizer and feel. Just ran my arm over the microphone. That should be an interesting noise. Yes, I'm doing it again. I've got my eyebrow arched up instead of laying, quote unquote, natural. I just, it's how it works for me. It's one of those, do what you do, it works for you kind of thing. I know, everybody tells you to do this, you know, just relax your eyebrows so that they're laying natural. I have never been able to do that. As soon as I go towards them with a pencil or anything, they get whoop. I don't know why, it just is what it is. I arch them. I follow them there. Yeah, this is my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, the usual suspects. Now, the Persona, I actually looked up Persona after I picked this, this palette up and it came in from Miss Bridget. I looked them up. I wanted to see what else they had and They've got a really limited line. They really do. It's very limited. And they're a bit on the spendy side. They've got very little stuff in there. <coughs> They've got a couple of palettes. which are both 42 bucks. Some people don't call that spendy. I do. Um, yeah, I don't mind spending about that kind of money on something that I really, 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 really want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I don't mind. Really, don't mind picking up something that I really want in that kind of price range. Because I picked up Club Nebula. I wanted Club Nebula. I like Club Nebula. I picked that pooch up when it first came out. Well, actually, it was on the second restock when I finally got hold of it. This is Wonder Beauty out of one of my boxes. Called Trip to Costa Ray. Maybe one of these days I'll look it up and find out where that actually is. And it's just Costa Ray, not Costa Del Rey. So, I don't know. Oh, yeah. And then the other thing that's about to come up and jump up on my face is the other piece that I picked up from Bridget. And it's the Benefit Georgia Peach Blush. I'm not sure if she still has anything. It's on her Facebook. If you're on her, if you have her on Facebook, she had everything listed up there. And I had a lovely time looking. There was another palette, and I decided not to go for the other palette. But. Persona doesn't really have a lot of stuff. I don't know why. They just don't. There's the original palette in the identity line. The original pa Oh, man, I just opened that Benefit blush. And, oh, why do people have to put stinky stuff in the makeup? Hmm. And yeah, I took the little brush that comes with it and went. I am just not into that little brush. Besides, once you take that little tray out the first time, it ends up getting lost, and you, I'm not putting the brush back in, just laying it on top of the product. Just not doing it. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. Just barely there. It's gorgeous. That was a good pick, Annie. That was a good pick. Yeah. I like the idea that it's buildable and doesn't just like stamp your face clown red immediately. Last thing I need is clown red, you know. I wasn't all that impressed with the original of the identity palettes. I just, it just didn't impress me at all. It was all mattes and they were really, okay, they were good colors, but they were dull. Just dull. Dull. 
which, all right, if you're trying to do a strictly neutral look, that's probably the best thing in the world for you. It's not for me. I just, I just can't do it. I just can't. I'm just, yeah, no. I just can't go there. Which is like silly, but I just can't go there. All right, let's see. Hip dot. I've got a couple of pieces from Hip Dot. I've got this, which is the Golden Hour Highlight. And I've got one of their tiny little quad palettes. You know, when I was doing the singles and mini palettes, no, it's not a quad, it's a trio. The glitter I'm not that fond of, it's really chunky. But I did a short recently that was singles, you know, from the boxes. I got the singles out and I got the mini palettes out and used that on the eyes. Okay, that looks good. I'm not trying to go for beaming to God today. I just am not. Kind of scoot that along the edge right under the brow there just a little bit. Get over here and do the same thing. Still haven't figured out what I'm wearing. This is my jammies. I'll have to wear something, you know, just something. Alrighty, now, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna powder this, but I am gonna take my powder brush and just kind of glance over the whole thing. Just for the heck of it with whatever happens to be in it. Just kind of get everybody all together. Alright, that looks pretty good. Still haven't figured out what lip I want to use yet either. Anyway, I'm going to run away for a couple of minutes, do some eyeliner, throw some mascara at my face, might even drink some coffee before I come back. Yeah, just might. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Finally decided what I'm wearing, got my earrings on, the lippy I picked is a color called Super Mom by Visanti. It's one of my box acquirements. I think that looks pretty good. So, not that the Lippy's going to stay on that long because as soon as I get into the mask, that'll be the end of that. Anyway, there we are. The big earrings, 
that are absolutely glorious. Yes, I've got them on with the horseshoes because at this point, if I put just the earring in, it's it, it the ear is going to look a little weird. No, I have not stretched them terribly far. But that's okay. This one is a four millimeter, otherwise known as a six gauge. This one is a three millimeter, otherwise known as an eight gauge. So that's where we're at, all the way around, including my gauges. I'm dressed, ready to go, waiting for my ride to get here. Mm -hmm. Feeling good, feeling more like myself lately. Toes feeling good, what's left of it. healed up nicely no dressings on it just got my socks and my shoes and drank most of my breakfast coffee <laughs> it's just after 10 o'clock on the western coast of the United States of the USA And it is the 21st of February, 28th of February, I start my next class. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's an ethics class. but it's on environmental ethics. Balancing the needs of the people against the needs of the planet that's supplying. Interesting balancing act. But I thought it sounded like an interesting class to take considering some of the writing I do will include stuff about the environment. I mean, we do have to take care of it one way or another. Anyway. Behave self. Wear your mask. We are not out of the woods. Keep your distance. If you have not yet gotten your vaccine, get on with it. Just do it. People are still dying. We're not done with this yet. If you've gotten your vaccine, make sure you've gotten all the doses you're supposed to have, including your booster. Don't argue with science. The thing is, you keep saying, don't, people keep saying that God is going to take care of it. And it's like, excuse me, God already took care of it. He gave the doctors and scientists brains to use the materials that were provided once we were learned enough to understand them. There you go. There is definitely still no bail money. Stay out of trouble. The bail money went to the hospital. Yep. Remember, I live in the USA. There is no national health service of any kind. 